Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Remember, Remember. Now, if you guys don't remember, eh, I played a demo of this some time ago. Well, today we're gonna play. The, we're gonna start playing more of it. In fact, we are going to get through this entire game. You see here, I have no more, and ow, that was, I'm going to turn that down. But I have no saves. Ow. That's better. There we go. This is a work of fiction. Name, character, uh, the standard disclaimer that everything you see here is just coincidental. It's not based off anyone. Oh, do I have a click? Oh boy. <laughs> okay guys, so here's your warning. Actually. This game contains the following content. Torture, mentions of rape, mentions of pedophilia, mentions of trafficking, grotesque murder, mental breaks, suicide, mentions of drug and alcohol abuse. You have been warned. So if you, this is not the kind of, th if you weren't allowed to watch a Doki Doki, don't watch this. Chris! Chris! Am I Chris? Don't go out too far, you two! I won't. Watch over her, Chris! Yeah, okay. I know. I'm so wrong. Yeah, I can. Come on, let's go! Hey, wait up! What? Where am I? What, what the, the? Where am I? What's going on? Why does it? Oh, why does it smell like bleach in here? Wait, wasn't I supposed to be on my way to the graduation venue? Wait, that's right. Nope, the car's not going anywhere. We're stranded. Nice job on leaving the tank empty, dude. Now how are we gonna get there? Something's wrong. I know I filled it up yesterday. I have the receipt and everything. Did you do anything else yesterday? No, I guess. It Guys, we can just walk there. It's not like it's raining. That's a 30 minute walk. We'd be late. It's better than not being there at all. It's not like we have a choice in the matter. Yeah, let's just speed walk or something. Yeah. Huh? Hey, you guys need a lift to the venue? I'm on my way there. Oh my gosh, you are a- Huh? Chem major. Don't even worry about it. I don't- Oh, come on. I got room. I you can walk if you want. I'm getting- Me too! Wait up! Well, it's better than being- <sighs> Chris, you come- That guy, he drove all of us. Then why Damn am I it. here? Oh shit, where are the others? Rosa! Lisa! You gotta find them. What the? This, this place, place is huge. huge. Is this some kind of medical facility? Everything looks clean and sterile. What kind of person owns this place? This is all sorts of messed up. What's with the giant TV? And, huh, now I've console. Looks like it's on. What is this? It's like a kid drawing or something. <laughs> did it, wait, did it crash? Hold on a second, I think the game just crashed. <laughs> okay then. Well, the game just crashed. Try that again. <laughs> no, 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 no.
Okay, I'll be back. There you go. So we're, we're back. Don't know what happened. <laughs> Rawr! The monster's going to eat you and your friends! You can't eat them if I protect them with a magical flower crown! I guess I have to take these flowers to the toys? I do remember this, sort of, from... I remember this now. What kind of game was that? Why is that even here? Fuck it. This whole situation makes no damn sense. Gotta stay focused. Gotta find the others. Huh. There's more rooms along the walls. Are the rest of them in the other rooms? Well, may, might as well pick one and check. This room looks like, just like mine. Holy Lisa! Shit, Lisa! Lisa! Oh, wake up. Huh? Hey, are you alright? I think so. Oh, my head hurts. Shit. Sorry. It's fine. It's not your fault. Are you okay? Yeah, I... Well, that's good. Thank God Lisa's okay. I hope the others are too. Here. Let me help you stand. Thank you. Chris, where are we? I don't know. I just woke up in a room across the way. Across the way? Yeah. There's a massive room outside the door, and there are doors along this wall and the wall across from it. It's like we're in a bunker or something. Jeez. That's just freaky. She's telling me. Anyway, where are the others? I don't know that either. I just woke up a bit ago. Well, then come on. We have to find them. Hey, Lisa, hold on. You just got up. The sooner we find them, the better. Yeah! Huh? Let's go. Oh my god, it's What happened? Lisa! Chris! You're both okay! Yeah, we're fine. What happened? We don't know. We just woke up. No, I just want this damn thing off. What thing? This thing. I have that same bracelet! What is it? Whatever it is, I slammed it into the wall, and it friggin' shocked the hell out of me. It feels like it was welded on our wrists. Ooh. It feels like it's made of steel. It wouldn't break if you hit it against anything, you idiot! Why did you even try to break it? Shut the hell up. <laughs> it won't come off! Come on! Hey, don't mess with it too much. It might shock you too. <laughs> right! Ugh, this is bullshit. Why are we here? Right, I didn't like this guy. I still don't. I like this guy. How the hell should we know? We were all drugged! Guys! Now is not the time to go crazy! We need to put our heads together and figure out what's going on. The girls seem really shaken by this. I don't blame them. I like... Because... I keep it... Xavier just got shocked, but Peter's right. Girls. Let's try and figure this all out before we drive ourselves crazy. I can't calm down! I know you are. But if we calm down, then we can think of a way out. Chris is right, Rosa. Just take a couple of breaths. Just breathe. Okay. <laughs> Popular with the ladies like always, Chris. Shut up, Pete. So, any ideas on where to start looking? That's a stupid question. 
What do you mean? It's kind of obvious how we get out. Look over there. Jesus, that was big. That's the biggest door in the room. That has to be the exit. Then let's just go! Rosa, look again. Oh crap, a laser grid? Grid? I barely oh, noticed it. That is a scary laser grid. Don't tell me that grid shocks us or something if we touch it. Probably if it's meant to keep us in here. Peter, go touch it. What? Fuck you! <laughs> Xavier! Xavier. Okay. You never know what it does until you try it out. That's not funny! It's too dangerous to try! So how do we unlock it and make the grid disappear? There are no visible keyholes and no card slots. We are trapped in here while the locks are either on the other side or are unlocked electronically. Yeah. That's true. This is way too fucked up. Mm -hmm. This is garbage! Who would do this to us? The guy who kidnapped us. You don't mean that guy who offered us a ride, do you? Who else could have done it? He had the perfect opportunity. But he looked like us. He looked like he came from our school. Yeah. As much as I would have liked to agree, anyone could have bought our school logo merchandise and pretended to be a student. Wait! Do you think he had something to do with my car being out of gas? You know what? He probably did if we were his targets. I still don't understand. Why us? Yeah, if this guy wanted to kidnap someone, it would be much harder to get a group all at once. Why all of us? Because he's some freak of nature. It doesn't matter why, okay? All that matters is that we're stuck here and we need to get out. We can't, though. That door seems to be our only way out, and it's apparently locked from the other side. That can't be true. Let's split up and try to find another way out. You know, Lisa could be right. Let's just try and find another way out and see what happens. Okay. I still think that the door is our only way out. We can't be sure until we check. All right. Let's just spread out and see what we can find. This, this entire place gives me the creeps. Like it was built specifically for us. As if this place couldn't get any creepier. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Think about it, Chris. All five of us are trapped in some sort of bunker, and the only exit is this laser-protected door. We are being kept here for a specific reason. What reason could it be? I'm trying to think, but I can't even imagine why. This is all just too weird. What kind of people would want a kidnapper? Who would want any kidnapper have to? What? What? What kind of reason would any kidnapper have to kidnap a group of people? Unless it's like one of those freaky horror movies where the group of unsuspecting teens are going to be tortured and kill or something. Now they're just getting really scary. Hey, hey, what? You don't think that we're gonna be killed or something, do you? I mean, you're not wrong to assume that, but I don't think that's the case. Why? The kidnapper isn't here, yet we are. If anything, he's planning to starve us or... Uh, God... Huh? What is it? Look. Whoa. I forgot about this part. Good morning, little insects. Insects? What the hell? Did, Did you enjoy, enjoy your ride? Your comfy beds. Oh, I truly hope so. Whoever you are, let us out! No, oh, I can't do that. Not yet, at least. Not yet? What do you mean? My, my, so many questions. And you haven't answered any of mine. How? Why the hell should we answer you? You trapped us in here! For good reason. However, there is no excuse for bad manners. So, did you all enjoy your ride here? Ah, see? At least one of you has manners. I'm glad you enjoyed the ride. Chris, I hope you know what you're doing. So straightforward. Though I expected nothing less from the Monarch Butterfly. Monarch Butterfly? Now we have pet names? Of course. All of you have wonderful little nicknames. 
They match you perfectly, I assure you. Doesn't help that my thing is making pulse. That is messed up. That tells us one thing, though. What are you talking about? This freak kidnapper knows us personally. If we all have pet names that match us, then they have to know us and target us specifically. So this wasn't a convenient group kidnapping. If you seriously thought this whole thing was convenience, I will bitch slap you. But why us though? It's for a good reason. I promise. There is no good reason for kidnapping people. Are you sure? There are many benefits to kidnapping someone. Like what? Opportunity. Opportunity? Yes, this is the perfect chance for the truth to be revealed. The truth? What truth? I'll say this. A couple of you have been very, very naughty and don't deserve to be alive right now. Oh god. What the hell? Don't deserve to be alive? Oh, was that too scary of me? I'm such a silly bird. Now he's calling himself a bird. This is nuts. If you know the truth, then why not tell us? Where's the fun in just giving out answers? How does locking us in here get people to confess? There are five of you. With everyone in such close proximity, it would be very hard to hide secrets. Like the truth of the past. All right. If anyone's got anything to confess, spit it out. Really, Peter? Oh, Peter, if only it were that simple. Of course, I'd already taken into consideration that the truth would remain persistently hidden, despite the environment. After all, the truth is so terrible. The ones who know it would never want it to be revealed. You're making no sense. Do you want us to find out the truth or not? I'm confused. Oh, I do. I very much want you all to know the truth. That's why I've taken some extra measures. Extra measures? Allow me to ask you this. How did you all become friends? That's easy. We... We... How did we become friends? I can't remember. Huh? How could we forget? Why can't we remember how we became friends? <laughs> I've always been so curious what Alter Probinolo can do to the human mind. Coca-Cola and all. Really, you can't just at all. What did you do to us? Nothing terrible. I simply locked away your long-term memories with a little sedative. You can't remember anything past the abduction, can you? Propanolo. You made a beta blocker sedative for drug induced amnesia. Very good, Rosa. As expected from a medical student. I'm surprised you know all of that, despite the medication. Why would you do that? So many questions! Can't everything be solved on your own? After all, Xavier, you are supposedly the smart one. I will break this TV! I wouldn't suggest doing that. Unless, of course, you had massacred <laughs> electricity. <laughs> you fucking sadist! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this so much. The squirming. The anger. Oh, it brings back so many memories. Oh, how are we gonna find out the truth if you blocked it from us? Oh, don't panic so quickly. The effects are temporary if left unchecked. How long do they last, then? Well, from the dosages I gave everyone, I would say a week. Maybe two. So we have to stay here until we remember? Think of it like a treasure hunt. All of you get to work together in unlocking the chests of your memories. And all of you will find out the truth. Make sure you all work hard to find that truth. You'll be stuck here until you do. Well, I should be specific. Make sure you work hard to find the truth. Chris. What? Me? You are very special, Chris. I cannot wait until the truth is revealed. 
What will you do, I wonder? You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> and that just validates it. Oh, would you look at the time? The first game is about to begin. Huh? Game? What do you mean? Your special game! Does your generation not enjoy games anymore? That's disappointing. After all of the trouble I went through to make this a fun Like how calm it looks here. There's nothing fun about being drugged and kidnapped. Regardless, Rosa, Lisa, Xavier, and Peter, please make your way to the platform and line up on the red circles. Why the hell should we? Lisa, let's just go. Why? Lisa, he can electrocute us. Maybe Rosa should be named the smartest one. Then again, Lisa, you were always dim when it came to details. Excuse me? Lisa! Just start walking. Now, Chris, you get to use the console. Me? You'll see. All right, we're here. Now what? My, my, so anxious. How about I ease your minds with a little story? Seriously? The tragic tale of a beautiful butterfly. Once there was a butterfly that wandered too far from its home. It was a gorgeous butterfly indeed. But little did it know, an evil bird was trailing it, hoping to rip apart its wings for fun. What kind of messed up story is that? Do you all like that? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll share for now. Can't give away too much of the story at once. I'm trying to remember where this ended. This guy's a lunatic! Do you hear me? You're a lunatic! Call me whatever you like, little insect. It doesn't change the fact that you are trapped in my nest. Ah! What the hell? Hey! Let him back! Guys! What is it? <laughs> Monarch Butterfly. Your goal is simple. Save your friends from a nasty little bird. Let them out! Oh, only you can do that, Chris. <laughs> the ball is in your court. Will you save them or leave them to die? What kind of fuck don't you miss this? What the fuck is going on? Guys, look down! Ah! Water! Oh yeah, these are the ones that do fuck water. <laughs> you better hurry! Those tubes are sealed tightly and will fill completely with water if you don't rescue them all in time. I'll save you guys! Don't worry! Oh, this is beyond exciting! <laughs> Um, anyway, if I don't say them, they're gonna drown in those tubes. I gotta keep my calm and get through this. I still have to play that little kid game to save them. I guess it makes sense. You just run from the wait butterflies. Also, probably it's because I've probably done that before. We're out, guys. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. You did it, man. I <laughs> should. I did it. Well done, Monarch. Perhaps you are the person she imagined you to be. Huh? She. She. 
What do you mean? Hmm? Did my medicine really erase that much of your memory? What are you talking about? He's just being psycho again. Just ignore him. I'm curious of the reaction this will cause. So I will share a little secret. What? What secret? Well, it's just so uneasy. Chris, tell us. Do you remember a girl named Sarah? <laughs> Chris! Chris! Come on! An Amber Alert has just been released for eight-year-old Sarah Meyer. How could we have lost her? We'll do what we can to find her, ma'am. Sarah! <laughs> so you do remember her. Sarah? Who is Sarah? I think I remember her. Yeah. Isn't she... My little sister! She went missing years ago, and there's been no sign of her. Wait, you have a little sister? Hmm. The medicine seems to be affecting each of you differently. <laughs> Wait, what happened to your sister? <laughs> well then, maybe I should let you all figure that out yourselves. You sick fuck! It was you who took her, wasn't it? That's why you're doing this! Where is she? Ah, if I told you, then you won't play my little game. Besides, I'm not the only one who knows what happened to her. What? The fuck are you going on about? Wait, someone else knows what happened to her? Consider this a gift, Chris. You'll finally be able to discover the truth about the disappearance of your sister. A truth that was hidden beneath your very nose. Oh, yeah. I truly hope you all enjoy your stay. May you all find the truth of Sarah's disappearance together. <laughs> Find the truth together, that means one or more of my friends knows what happened to Sarah. They've been hiding the truth from me for years. So the kidnapper got all of us in here so they would finally learn. So I would finally learn what happened. I don't know whether to be horrified or gratified. Regardless, this is my chance. What happened to Sarah? Uh, uh, Chris? Hey, Chris, are you okay? Of course he's not okay, dumbass. One of us apparently has something to do with his sister's kidnapping. That's ridiculous. We're friends, for God's sake. Why would any of us be involved? That's the thing, though. We can't remember how long we've been friends, or why we're all friends in the first place. So, we can't say for sure that none of us were involved. <laughs> Even I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Why would anyone who calls themselves a friend do something like kidnap a little girl? That freak behind the mask is trying to make us turn against each other. None of us could have done it or could have even gotten away with it. Still... Nothing makes sense. Who was involved and how do I find out? Do I have to keep playing the game? Do I have to drown one of them? Is that even possible? Or do I have to wait until the side of off to figure it all out? It would be a while, but I'd get an answer one way or another. If only I could remember the day she was taken, maybe the day of her spread up some memories. Well, for now, we pretty much have to wait it out. And wait for the mask to throw us in water tubes again? Absolutely not! Do you have any better ideas? My headphones keep cutting out. There you go. We find our way out, duh! We've tried that, Lisa! We can't get out! So we have to suck it up and let this guy attempt to drown us? No. We have to suck it up and trust Chris not to let us die. Huh? We all heard what the mask said. Chris is special. He's the one who has to go through that maze game or whatever and make sure we don't drown. He trusted all of us for years. So now we have to trust him. Even after hearing that, one or more of them was involved. They still hope they still hope to trust me. They're my friends. You're right. Chris? I trust you. Whoa, this is juicy. Whoa. Yeah, you're a good person, Chris. And even though I can't remember how we became friends, I can feel that I can trust you to get us through this. Same with me. The situation may be really scary, but we'll get out of here somehow. 
This is a really messed up situation. I need. I need to go away down. Chris. Oh, there's a save. Let Chris go, Rosa. Rest is probably the best thing right now. All right. This is happening. Was it the kidnapper that took Sarah, or is there more to the story? If one of one of my friends was involved, then there has to be more to the situation. What if it was accidental? What if they they weren't involved and the kidnapper was trying to trick me? If only I could remember what happened that night. Why wasn't I watching her? How could she have slipped away from me? Think, think. <clears throat> I remember. It was the one night I was cleaning my room and not watching her like I was supposed to. Something heavy in my mind. So I just kept my room from cleaning, dusting every safe for three. I reorganized my entire shelf and closet. The vacuum we had was old and loud, so everything was turned out while I was cleaning. I didn't even hear the front door open. When I finished at last, I remember I remembered my responsibility and began to search the house for Sarah. Sarah! Sarah, where are you? Why is the Oh my god. Sarah! I I looked everywhere. Around the house. There was no sign of her. I ran outside. She wasn't anywhere in sight. Sarah! I ran up and down the street despite desperate to find her. Some neighbors rushed out, asking what the shouting was about, but I barely had time to answer. All I could do was shout for her. Oh, that's when I saw someone. How did I, I remember, remember that? I don't understand what the kid up inside. Maybe I'm just fighting through it better than they expect. But now my head's killing me. I'm about to. Chris, you'll save me no matter what, right? Absolutely. I'm your knight. <laughs> hey, I love you so much. Ooh. <laughs> Chris, Sarah, it's time to come back inside. All right. Night. Come on, Sarah. Sarah. Let's go. I know. We'll play some more tomorrow, okay? I hit the wrong button. Promise? I promise. Chris? Hey, come on. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, when did she get in here? Hey, are you okay? What happened? I blacked out from a headache. It's gone. For now. Yeesh, I'm sorry. Anyway, what's, what's up? up? Well, since we really can't tell what time it is in here, Peter decided to follow his gut and made his food in the kitchen. Really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know he could cook. Or maybe we just can't remember him never cooking. Well, at least the kidnapper isn't letting us starve. Yeah. Come on. Oh, good. good. Uh, morning. We can't even tell it's morning, Rosa. Have a good nap, Chris. How long was I out? If we had to guess, two hours, maybe three? Not like we have a clock or our cell phones to know the time. Well, at least our stomachs don't lie to us here. What the soup and sandwiches? It's made a soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. The fridge isn't exactly stocked with good stuff. Including bread? Yeah, we only have things that will last for a month. If you take care of sealing it and stuff, it can last a while. I guess the kidnapper assumes that we're smart enough to know how to store things. She's reacting like we're gonna be here forever. Eight. I don't know when the kidnapper is gonna make us do that game again. Yep. Can we not talk about that? I at least want to pretend that we're not in danger while I eat. Yep, that sounds great. Right. 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 Peter's a decent cook. You can tell the soup came from a can, but he made it work alongside the sandwiches. At least we can have one decent cook. At least we have one decent cook from what I can remember. Rosa, what's wrong? You're not eating. I'm worried about our families. Oh shit, Rose is right. What about our families? That's right. Oh my god. Mom's probably worried sick. Do you think they're looking for us? 
If this kidnapper is as smart as he claims to be, he probably already halted or stopped any investigation for us. What do you mean? Think about it. He planned this whole thing out to get us down here and play his stupid game of death. If he didn't plan on hiding us from our folks or the police, then he's a shitty kidnapper. No, that's probably And he's already proven to be a good one. Yeah. I bet he's already covered any tracks to us. Jeez, great way to think, guys. What else are we supposed to think? I don't know. Maybe that we won't die in this place and maybe that we'll be saved. Ugh. Lisa, as much as we want to, I don't think we can. <laughs> Doing a cup of in the air with black and white. But we should... Well, I don't think we'll die here. What makes you say that? Because we're only supposed to be in here until we get our memories back. Once we do that, you really think it'll be that easy? Xavier! Guys, we were dragged in here to reveal who the fuck screwed over Chris's sister. Not all of us can get out of here alive. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I'm saying that maybe there's a chance some of us won't make it out of here. Well, that didn't Chris, change. I trust you with my life. I'm sure everyone else here does as well. But we have to be realistic. If we were put in here strictly to reveal this truth the kidnapper keeps saying we know... Then... one or more of us could... be... Alright, enough! I'm putting my foot down right now! Peter! No, Lisa. Everyone, shut up and eat. We can't be doing this right now. Especially since we don't know what will happen. It could be a ruse to get us to turn on each other for all we know. Right! This kidnapper did erase our memories. Maybe he's bluffing to get us to hurt each other. Everything is a mess. We're all scared. Me, most of all. I'm supposed to be one that decides everyone's fate. But what if I can? What if I find out who was part of my sister's disappearance? I can't bring myself to hurt them. What if I do get the strength to hurt them? I don't know what to think. What do you do when you don't know how much time has passed? The mask hasn't appeared since the first game. And there's no way for us to tell time. For all we know, it's been a day, maybe more. The only thing we can use to calculate time is food and sleep. We've had two meals since the game. I suppose dinner and maybe breakfast. In between, we simply slept the best we could. Who knows how long we'll be in here. I gotta get us out of here. It's all on me. I have to play through the kidnapper suit games to get us all out. But I also have to learn the truth about what happened to Sarah. I hope it's all loose. I sincerely hope no one was involved. Thinking to myself isn't going to help. I need to talk to someone. Peter might have some insight of what we should do now. I don't know why, but I feel really close to him. Where is he at, though? Peter? Why is he looking at the dirty? What's going on, huh? Oh, hey, Chris. I was just thinking. About what? The game and stuff. You know, the thing you had to go through. That was pretty scary, not gonna lie. You're telling me. I sure sure is about it. And I'm even more scared shitless for whatever the next game is. I can only hope that I pass it like I did the first one. Still, I gotta say, you handled it pretty well. Really? Yeah. There's no way I would have been able to do that. Nah, I'd be too stressed to know what I'm doing. You handled it like a pro. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Pete. Pete. No problem. Something about Peter makes me feel really comfortable with him. Don't know why. Maybe I'll find out in the middle of the end of this or whatever this is. Whatever the case may be, won't we'll remember everything and get out somehow. Hey, um, what is it? gonna get out of here soon, right? Huh? Huh? You worried? I mean, a little. You're saying so. I think all of us are worried in some shape, however, I don't think I've ever seen Peter this nervous. I see some Everything nervous. all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Just natural worry, you know? Yeah, nothing big. Great. 
something that just he remembers something that he's not telling well, me. Well, I'm gonna head to my room. Gotta rest up and all, you know? Sure. See you, Chris. Yeah, something's that. So, it's almost, almost dinner. dinner. From what we know of, at least. Meaning it's been a full day. Does that mean there won't be a game today? I guess not. Assuming the game just scheduled and not random. Well then, I'll make us dinner. How does, uh, chicken noodle sound? You cook the last three meals. Let me cook this time. You sure? Yeah. We should all take responsibility and rotate cooking duties. Besides, I noticed we had some spices. I can make something special. Very fair. We can all cook fairly well. Except for Xavier. Huh? How do you know? Yeah. How did you know that? I just... Lisa! Whoa! No! My head! I'll get water! I think it's the side effects of the beta blocker. What do you mean? Propanolol is sometimes used to stop headaches, but only if used in small dosages. We were given a modified version of it, focused on blocking memories. So when we remember, or even try to, we're activating some sort of side effect? Possibly. I don't know what the kidnapper did to us, but I can only assume that whenever a memory triggers, we get headaches because of the large amount we were given. Here, Lisa, drink. Th thanks. There's no luck to what type of kidnapper memories left. You okay, Lisa? <laughs> No, but the headache is fading away at least. That's good. Thanks for the catch, Xavier. Mm-hmm. Need more water? No, I think I'm fine now. At least it's gone. Well, that at least tells us something. Huh? What does it tell us? That we can literally force our memories to return. <laughs> it sucks for some of us, but yeah, if we can trigger it. Then all of us could eventually unlock our memories together beating out the beta blocker. Not to be a pessimist here, but is that safe to do? Lisa just went through a massive headache and- I don't care about the headaches. The faster we remember, the faster we can get out. Peter's right to be cautious. However, what choice do we have? Do we wait until they naturally appear and hurt us anyway? Or do we force our way through? You know my answer. Same, I'm not waiting. Chris, Peter. Chris, what do you think? It's like good idea. What if Peter's right? Cut damage or We should wait it out. They'll reappear eventually. So we're just gonna stick it out? Really? Do you want to walk out of here with potential brain damage? We'll be fine. We don't know that, Lisa. I never said it would be safe. The trauma of forcing the memories can still hurt us. Maybe even damage the brain cells affected by the beta blocker. Chris, if you say we should wait it out, then we should. What the? Xavier! I trust Chris. We have to. After all, Chris is the one who decides if we live or die. Way to remind me. What? Not to interrupt, but I believe a game is in order. God damn it, really? <laughs> I guess the games are scheduled out. Oh, did I ruin the suspense? Leave us alone! We're not ready. Oh. Is the Monarch Butterfly honestly trying to be a hero? How interesting. Just forget it, Chris. We're fine. Lisa. Don't, Peter. Let's just get this over with. Dios no sabe. I'm afraid praying for salvation won't help you. I understand. Don't worry. We'll be set free soon enough. But it's up to Chris whether or not you see your families again. What? Rosa, quit listening to him. Just get over here and line up. Rosa, come on. <sighs> now, Chris, are you ready for the next game? What if I'm not? Oh. What if I don't want to go through this game? 
What if I just want to learn the truth and leave? As heroic and noble as the sentiment is, I'm afraid I can't allow that. Why? It's only fair. If your sister had to go through hell, why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't these insects experience a form of hell they'll never forget? Hey, fuck off. We don't even know if what you're saying is true. We could all be innocent. Of course, Xavier. Of course. Just let them go and I'll learn the truth on my own. You don't get to decide that. No! If you do not decide their fate, then I will happily take the reins and judge them myself. Sarah deserves that closure. How the hell can you know what she deserves? Because I know the truth, Chris. I know everything that happened those five years ago when she was taken away from you and your family. And if you do not go through hell to learn that, then I will end this myself. <laughs> Chris, just do it. Just get over there. Play the stupid game. We trust you. Look, you got this. How sweet. The other insects are depending on you, Chris. Isn't it tragic? There's nothing tragic about my friends depending on me. Your friends? You mean the ones who helped in Sarah's disappearance? Screw you! Unless you want to tell me who was responsible, they are all my friends. And they are all counting on me. Just gotta run from this freaky bird thing, right? I figured you would expect that. But there's a new part of the story you must hear to understand your challenge. Now, where did we leave <laughs> I love this. Ah, that's right. Oh yeah. This is so fun. I like this game. A butterfly ran into a sweet ladybug. The ladybug was on its way to visit its family yeah. and was running very late, but stopped for a moment. Is that better? Yeah, okay. However, the ladybug checked the time and quickly left to continue its journey, the hoots of an owl calling for its haste. How does that part change anything? <laughs> well then, I guess you'll just have to find out, won't you?
Wait. I pity you, though. I'm afraid heaven doesn't allow murderers through their games. At least she won't have to see your pathetic face in the afterlife. Whoa. Goodbye, Chris. I will see you in hell soon. Screw you! I wrote what if I'm not? Oh, what if I'm not? Why? Hey, I'm just... No! Chris, there's nothing else. What? Uh, no. So I know they didn't do it. It's different yet.
I should just do that. That was close. Are you guys all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're okay. Bravo! You managed to free them once again in record time. I must say, I am impressed. Oh god. That was close, even though it, that was close though. If I made a mistake, everyone would have been done for. Yeah, why does part of me feel aggravated? I wonder. How has the hunt for the truth been? Don't ask like you can't watch what we're doing at all times. Wait, what? He can see us even when he's not on the Rosa. Come on. Stupid question. Right. <laughs> What's wrong with asking? Just because I can monitor everyone doesn't mean I can read minds through the cameras. I'll say I don't want to care. <sighs> You'll do it for Dormant. There's no reason to feed the beast on oh. No reply. Not even after you stopped innocent blood from spilling. No, that can't be. It's just the return. There's no reason to you. They're all innocent. Not all of I already told you. Unless you want to tell me who the guilty ones are, they are all innocent. Don't think you can change my mind. As you say, then. Man, I can tell, I can tell that it won't make this last time he'll bring that up. But he wants me to turn against my friends. But unless I know who the wrong time I wonder how long it will take for everyone to remember. It won't take long. We'll remember everything soon and get out of here. Don't expect a happy ending, Rosa. Not everyone is granted such a thing. There's no way to get a happy ending. Well then, until next time, you should probably get some rest. This is psychotic. What if that freak doesn't plan to let us go? I think we'd be dead by now if that were the case. We need to focus on remembering whatever truth he keeps talking about. The sooner we do so, the sooner we can... I'm pretty sure I can know who. How long is this going to take for the truth to come out? Stop putting his gun up, think. I think he was the first second. Especially don't want him right on my door. Just close my eyes and remember. Remember. <laughs> she wasn't anywhere to be found. I ran out the door trying to find her. It was so dark, I could barely see past the street lights. Every time I called her name, I would only hear, hear it being echoed back in me in the air, being followed by some neighbors rushing out to inspect the noise. I didn't care. My mind was only on finding Sarah. And I heard someone, someone was running up to me and tried to help. Wasn't Dave? No. I remember feeling relieved when I saw them. Was it one of my friends? Or was it? Who? <sighs> no matter how hard I try, I can't get a clear image. If I push myself anymore, my head will- Damn it. How am I supposed to do anything when I can't even remember that night? Now my head's pounding. I need to sleep. Will I lose myself in this? Will I be able to figure this all out and save everyone? I keep pushing myself. This and honestly, the answer keeps getting pushed further and further from my grasp. The longer you stay here, the more unsure I become. Is it possible to slowly? We're slowly going to remember the truth. Is it possible I'll eventually figure out who was lying to me? Was it one of my friends? Or was it a mask? I don't know. And I'm frightened. Uh, I feel like shit. But I have a burning feeling that I feel like this for a while. At least we know we're in the place, this place. At least we have beds and food as well. And as well as personal bathrooms. The more, the more things make this place even creepier. Was this place built for, with us in mind? However, even the pressure, I can't wake up. Not even the sinks drove me out of this nightmare. All it would do is send water dripping down my face. It's strange. The more I look, I look in the mirror, the more I barely see who I recognize. Maybe it's the dark circles, maybe it's the lingering well <laughs> buried in my soul staring back at me. I will to survive. I will to keep it more despite this psychotic game I have landed myself in. Slowly but surely, 
and becoming unrecognizable. How long will it take until I don't even look like myself? With only my eyes to remind myself that I am who I believe myself to be. Another rush of water across my cheeks. I need to snap out of it and try to figure out what's next. I have to touch someone. I keep writing this alone, so I turn on everyone. And I cannot let that happen. Everyone's innocent until proven guilty. And guys, that is where I'm leaving it. I enjoyed this. I very much enjoyed this. <laughs> so, wow. This is an amazing game. I would recommend you go on Steam and play it, buy it for yourself. It's a wonderful game. Well, with, the, with further ado, I'm Matthew Martholler. Make sure you click down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release more awesome videos. Leave a comment down below what you want to see next. Leave a like if you liked it. And until next time, I'm Matthew Martholler. Bye-bye. <laughs>